This video provides a basic insight in the way the mean waiting time can be calculated before a process. Machines usually have queues before the machine and John Kingman describes the way a queue forms mathematically in 1961. He did this for a single server. So for a queue waiting for one process or machine. We will introduce his equation and in later videos we will expand this formula for multiple servers. It is important to state that this equation is an approximation of the mean waiting time. In this video we will show the basic parts of this equation. We will not state the exact formula yet. This video shows you the principles. In later videos we will explain the different parts and we state the equation. So, this is the basic situation. We have a processing job that transforms input to output. And before this processing job, a queue can occur for input that is brought into the production system, but cannot be processed yet. It is interesting to know how long on average a product stays in the queue. We want to know how quick we can respond to wishes of the customer. So the time that an order is waiting for processing should not be too long. Or for instance, how long a patient has to wait in the waiting room. Kingman has shown that three elements influence the time spent in this queue. First of all, of course, the time it takes to process a job is very important. The longer it takes to process a job, the longer the process is occupied and new orders are prevented from processing. But it is shown that not only the time it takes is important, it is also important to know what the utilization of this process is. And this is the second part of the equation. If a machine is fully occupied, it cannot deal with delays or variation in the arrival of orders. And if the operator has to do some rework, immediately all coming orders have to wait longer. But if the process has some slack in the time it is planned, then small hiccups and delays can be dealt with. So the expected waiting time does not have to rise or not so much. So the utilization of the process or machine has an effect on the waiting time too. How much this is, we will explain in the video about utilization. The third part of the equation is variation. Suppose the process usually takes five minutes and you expect this to be the case in average. If the job takes longer, the waiting time rises. But if it takes shorter, it is not always possible to start the next job. The more the real processing times differ from the expected average time, the more the queue will be affected and this means it will be longer. Something similar will happen if the input varies. If on average every 5 minutes a product arrives, but sometimes it takes 6 or 8 minutes, the process will wait for these products and this idle time in the process cannot be recovered, even if after this the products arrive in 2 and 4 minutes time. The process is busy and there is even a queue appearing. This shows that variation in both processing times and arrival times have an effect on the waiting time. If we take these three parts together, we see the founding layer of Kingman's equation to calculate an approximation of the waiting times in a queue. The average waiting time equals the job time multiplied by the effects of utilization of the process and the effects of variation in input and process times. In further videos, we will go deeper into the utilization and the variation parts of this equation.